that one want you? Do you like the puppies, Nate? Yeah. Are you happy you finally get yeah. to be with puppies? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's talking to you, Nate. <laughs> what is she saying? You can pet her right here on, on her head. I think she you want to pet the, this one? I think no, no, no. he wants to hold Pet her. gentle, soft. Can you give her a kiss? Give her a kiss? Yeah. No? <laughs> I kiss mine. Little. You going to kiss yours? All right. Oh, I want to do one. It's okay. This oh. is your friend. Oh. Hello, yellow. Okay. Mommy has to help you hold her. You have to sit on your bottom. Sit on your bottom. No, you have to sit on your bottom. I want you. There you go. Now you can hold her. Yeah, that's right. You want me to put her back? I think <laughs>
These puppies, uh oh, you just potted over here. These puppies go home um, May 9th. So we have a little bit of time here to decide what we're gonna do. So let's go through them. Um, we'll start over here with the boys. Here is Blue Collar Boy. And he's an apricot, kind of creamy apricot with dark ears. Look at him attack the ladybug. I know. And then this one who just potted on me because I picked him up in the middle of going potty. Sorry, baby. Here is Black Collar Boy. He is what we kind of call a creamy mocha. Can you see him next to the white? I, I, I talk about a, you think of a cup of coffee. Hey, Ava, can you quiet down just a little bit so I can talk? Mommy can't talk very loud. Thank you. Um, picture a cup of coffee with a lot of cream in it. That's what he is. He is the only curly in the litter, and he has some fleece in him. Yes, there's our blue color, dark blue. And then here's our orange collar boy. And orange is kind of a creamy with dark ears. And all these are wavy, except for, like I said, that, that dark blue. The smallest pumpkin of the litter, and I change my favorites daily, he's my current favorite, is green collar boy. He is a, a peanut butter or light red. I got a problem. Sarah, you need to leave your socks on. The puppies will eat your socks. Little green here is the is the smallest of the litter. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, and then finally, so we did dark blue, we did black, we did green, we did orange, and then um, a, a red, true, true red. So green and yellow are going to be our red boys. And he's also wavy. You can see that green is just a little lighter. There's kind of a shimmer here. So he's probably going to end up more like literally a jar of peanut butter. Nathan, get back on the kennel. I mean, get back from the kennel. <laughs> you know, this is, like I said, this is pouring to the end of Since I'm too tired to edit any of this out, welcome. Welcome to our lives. Okay, let's go with the girls. We have purple girl. No, you have to stay right there. Purple girl is going to be a cream with dark ears. We'll see how light those ears get. And in my lap here is another red and another small one. This is um, light pink girl. Yeah, look at you just sitting there. Sitting there all sweet. And then we have lime green girl who is also, and I'm sorry, I need to wipe her eyes. Um, she doesn't have tear standing, but at this stage when their hair grows out, they tend to tear up a little bit. Anyway, she is an apricot with dark ears. And then our last little girl right here is our turquoise girl. And she is also kind of an apricot cream with dark ears. Pika, come here, pumpkin noodle. Come here, pumpkin noodle. Look at them. I, Jessica says that they're just like the most personable babies. They do, they just love people. Hi. Hi. So um, at this stage, we're about to do our temperament testing next week. You'll get those results at six weeks. I will be sending you out directions to the farm. And, um, and then in the temperament testing will be specifics, like what I think their weights are going to be, um, their coat texture, color, all that kind of stuff. What kind of family situation may be best for. You'll get all that information. And then I'll give you our puppy picking uh, instructions as soon as we decide what we're going to do. But what we've done right now due to quarantine and social distancing and the way veterinarians are having to practice right now, we are giving their shots at seven weeks instead of six, which gives you a good um, three weeks after taking them home before you need to get another set of shots. And we're hoping by that time that arrangements can be made for you to get their second set of shots. Look at you guys. Is it is it time to eat? Yeah. <laughs> I'll also remind you, just due to the way Amazon and Chew.com are having to take a little extra time, uh, any supplies that you need, which is on your suggested supply list. No, I'm still, I'm still videoing. On the suggested supply list, 
you might want to consider starting to order those so that you have plenty of time for them to get there. You want to have everything set up and be ready to go. You'll also be getting some training material from me and their schedule and things like that so that you are literally ready to go when they get home. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, I know. This is torture. I got to tell you, they love their puppies. All right, I'll let you guys just watch him here for the end of this. Yeah.